Hey guys, so this is going to be a really quick and simple DIY on how I made these statement necklace shadow boxes. I wanted a new way to display them and I wanted to kind of incorporate it into some room decor. So this was so simple and I'm going to show you step by step everything that you need and how I did it. Anybody can do it and I just love it because it not only is nice organizational display of your necklaces, but it serves as beautiful room decor as well. So if you want to see how to do it, then just keep watching. So the first thing you're going to need are some kind of shadow boxes or picture frames. I found these at Michael's in the clearance bin for $2.99 a piece. I ended up getting two of them. It was such a steal. And it actually comes with a really nice decorative design on the back, but you could easily just use any kind of scrapbooking paper to achieve the same exact thing. Now, if your shadow box does not have a foam board, which you can see this one kind of came with, all you would need to do is just pick up a separate piece of foam board, which I have right there. And I think it costs about $2.99 and you're just going to want to cut out the same, the shape within the box. And you can just use that as the exact same thing, covered up with some nice scrapbooking paper. You're also going to need paint if you want to paint it um, another color besides white. And I use those little foam sponge applicators. I find that the easiest. These hooks I found at Lowe's, I got various sizes just because I have different weighted necklaces. So I'm going to mix and match them, but if you have all heavy necklaces or all light necklaces, um, they're available in different sizes. So the first thing you want to do is just remove the back from the frame, obviously, and that's super easy to do. And then you're going to want to just take the glass out. Normally, if it's a picture frame, the glass will just slide out really easily. But this one, because it's a heavier shadow box, came with a screw. So I actually had to go through and unscrew those little um, rubber stoppers. And then you can actually just chuck them in the garbage because you're not going to need to put the glass back on. drying, which it dries really quickly, we're going to go ahead and start doing our hooks. I'm going to go with a little one, kind of scatter them a little bit so they're not all in a row. The nice thing is too, they don't make very large holes, so if you don't like how the spacing is, you can always take it out and readjust it and you won't even be able to tell where it was because they make such tiny little holes and they'll most likely be covered up by your necklaces. So the heaviest necklace I own is this one by Amrita Singh, the reversible bib necklace. And so what I did was I'm gonna have the front of it on the largest class, and then I'm also gonna drape the two sides over the two little hooks just for extra support because like I said, this is such a heavy necklace. Maybe like that. And then laying your necklaces down also helps you kind of gauge where you want the other screws to go. So where you're going to put, actually, I'm going to go right next to it. Mm -hmm. 